Now in this lecture, we're going to have a discussion about the increment and decrement operators in C. This is part 2 of the lecture, increment and decrement operators. What is the output of the following C program fragment? In this program, as you can see, I've declared a variable A and assigned it a value is equals to 4 and I declare a variable B and assigned it a value is equals to 3. In this printf function, you can see a weird looking expression A plus 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 B. Let me zoom this out. In order to understand this statement A plus 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 B, what does it really do? We need to understand one concept of token generation. Lexical analysis is the first phase in the compilation process. Let me tell you one thing. In compilation process, there are a lot of phases. The first phase is lexical analysis phase. We have a syntax analysis phase, we have a semantic analysis phase, but the first phase is called lexical analysis. Lexical analysis is being performed by the lexical analyzer. Let's try to understand what does it really mean. Lexical analyzer or a scanner scans the whole source program and when it finds the meaningful sequence of characters or also called as lexemes, then it converts it into a token. That is very important point. Lexical analyzer job is to scan the whole source program. When it finds out a meaningful sequence of characters, it converts them into a token. Let's try to understand the meaning of token. Token are the lexemes mapped into token name and attribute values. Now this is very important point to note. When lexical analyzer finds out a meaningful sequence of characters like in this case INT. INT is a meaningful sequence of characters as this is a keyword and that too a data type. Token simply contains the information regarding the lexemes that lexical analyzer scans out. Here in this case, lexical analyzer scans out this lexeme and generate a token for this lexeme that contains the information that this is a keyword. Okay? Now you understand why lexical analysis is required. In the lexical analysis phase, you are actually finding out the meanings behind each and every character sequence in the program. That's it. In your program, there are a lot of character sequences written. Now how compiler would be able to know that what each character sequence really mean? In the lexical analysis phase, this is the job of lexical analyzer to scan the whole source program and convert them to tokens which contain the information regarding the lexemes. That's it. Now it always matches the longest character sequence. Please note down this thing. Lexical analyzer always matches the longest character sequence. Let's try to summarize all these points with the help of one example. Here you can see, suppose in my program, I declare a variable a and assign it a value is equals to 5. Please note down this thing, after this 5, there is no space. I have provided a space for the purpose of visibility and readability, but there is no space between 5 and colon. Please note down this thing. But there is a space between int and a, a and equal to, equal to and 5 but there is no space between 5 and colon. Remember this thing. Now how lexical analyzer will scan this sentence? It starts from this character as it always matches the longest character sequence. Therefore, it tries to find out if there is any other character available immediately after this character. In this case, it finds out another character n immediately available after i. And after n, it finds out another character t and after t, it won't find any character. It finds out a blank space. Therefore, it stops here. As int is a valid lexeme because it is a meaningful sequence of characters according to the C language. Therefore, lexical analyzer will convert this lexeme to a token. That's it. int is converted to a token that contains the information that this is a keyword. From now onwards, we think of token as containers like this that contain the information regarding the lexemes. Here in this case, this token would consist of information that this is a keyword. Okay? After this blank space, lexical analyzer finds out another character A and after that there is no character. Therefore, it stops here. As A is also a valid lexeme, therefore it generates a separate token for this A. Please note down this thing. This is an identifier or a variable name because it is available immediately after the integer data type. Compiler knows this thing that this is a variable, therefore, lexical analyzer generates separate token for this A. After this blank space, lexical analyzer finds out equal to operator. As equal to operator is also called as assignment operator, 
therefore it generates a separate token for this because blank space is reached therefore lexical analyzer stops here and generates a separate token for this equal to operator it contains the information that this is an assignment operator after this blank space lexical analyzer finds out a digit now we know this thing after 5 immediately a colon is available please note down this thing there is no space between 5 and colon Therefore, you might think that lexical analyzer will generate a token for these two together because there is no space. But please note down this thing, 5 and colon together is not a meaningful sequence of characters. Therefore, it cannot be treated as a lexem. But separately, they are lexems. 5 is a valid sequence. Here in this case, it is just a single digit. And this one is also a valid lexem. Therefore, for 5, a separate token is generated. And for colon, a separate token is generated. Together, they will not consider to be as a lexem. Therefore, separate token is generated for 5 and colon. Now, this is the job of lexical analyzer to find this out that whether this is a meaningful sequence or not. That is what lexical analyzer do. Now, please note down this thing. I only talked about the behavior of lexical analyzer. And I never talked about how lexical analyzer actually works behind the scenes. This is not something that we need to know right now. This is the part of the subject compiler design. And here we are concentrating on C programming only. Therefore, the information that whatever I provided in this presentation is enough to understand the concept. There are total 5 tokens in this sentence. Isn't that so? As we know this thing, lexical analyzer job is to map lexims to tokens. That's it. Now let's get back to the question and try to understand this statement over here. Here you can see this is our statement A plus 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 B. In order to understand this statement, we need to actually mimic the behavior of the lexical analyzer. Now what does lexical analyzer do? Here lexical analyzer finds out a character A and immediately after that it finds out an operator. Therefore what it does? It stops here only because A plus is not a meaningful character sequence. Right? Therefore, it generates a separate token for this particular lexem. Right? After this A, it finds out a plus operator. It may generate a separate token for it. But, as it finds out another operator immediately after that, and we know this thing, plus plus is a valid operator. Therefore, it will generate a separate token for these two. It continues to go on further also, and finds out another operator called plus. But this plus 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 is not a valid operator in C language. Therefore, it will generate token for these two plus together. After that, lexical analyzer finds out another operator and it stops here only because immediately after that, it finds out an operand. As plus B is not a valid lexem, therefore, it will generate a separate token for this plus operator because this plus operator is a valid lexem. There is no problem with that. But plus B together cannot be a valid lexem. After this plus, it finds out an operand B and it will similarly generate a valid token for this B as well. Therefore, we got total 4 tokens for this particular statement. Here, this is an operand. This is also an operand. This is a unary operator and this is an addition operator. Now, we know this thing. This unary operator must need to have an operand associated with it. And we have an operand also called A. Right? So there is no problem with this. Therefore, A++ is considered together. After that, you have an addition operator. An addition operator needs to have two operands. Here, this one is the first operand. A++ is the first operand for this addition operator. And B is the second operand for this addition operator. At first instance, when we see A++ B, it seems like an error. But after token generation, it doesn't seem like an error. This is the actual statement now, with proper spacing. I provided spacing for the better understanding. It means after token generation, this would be the statement A plus 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 B. This plus is separate. These two plus are together. They have an associated operand. And apart from that, this plus operator has two operands A plus plus and B. Okay. As we know this thing that initially the value of A is 4 and value of B is 3. Recall this point, what is the meaning of post increment and pre increment? Post increment or decrement in context of equation. 
Please recall what we studied about the post increment or decrement in context of assigning it to another variable. We talked about in the previous lecture that what is the meaning of post increment or decrement or pre increment or decrement in context of assigning it to another variable. What we do? We first assign the value to another variable and then increment the value. That is what we learned in the previous lesson. Here you can see we are not assigning any value to a variable. Therefore, we cannot talk about that definition. Here, there is a new definition. First, use the value in the equation and then increment the value. This is the definition of post increment decrement in context of equation. As you can see over here, this is a plus plus operator which is a post increment operator. According to the definition of post increment operator, we are going to use the value first in the equation and then increment the value. So, first we are going to use this value in the equation, that is we are putting 4 in this equation and then after that we increment this value, then after this binary operator and then we are going to put this value of b, that is 3. Now we know the result of this addition, that is 4 plus 3 is equals to 7. Now, you can say the output of this C program fragment is 7. As after generating the tokens for this particular statement, we would be able to know that how compiler will interpret this statement. Now let's try to consider the next question. What is the output of the following C program fragment? Here also, there are two variables and with same values that are there in the previous question. In this printf function, I have written one statement a plus 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 b. Again, we have three operators. Let me zoom this out. Again, we have three addition operators. Let's see what would be the output in this case. In order to understand this thing, again we are going to generate tokens for this statement. After this a, there is a blank space. Therefore, lexical analyzer will generate a token for this particular lexim, right? Because this is a valid lexim. After that, it finds out an operator, but immediately after that, it won't find out any operator. There is a blank space available after this operator. Therefore, Lexical analyzer will generate a separate token for this particular lexim. In the similar fashion, after this blank space, it finds out an operator plus and immediately after that, it finds out another operator plus. And we know this thing that this is a valid sequence. Therefore, it is a lexim and lexical analyzer will generate a token for this lexim. After that, it finds out an operand B and it is a valid lexim. Therefore, it will generate a separate token for this b as well. We have again four tokens in this statement, but now it is little changed. Isn't that so? Because of the proper spacing, now we would be able to distinguish. The statement after creating tokens looked like this. Here in this case, this is a binary operator which has two operands a and plus plus b. This unary operator has an associated b operand. Now this is a pre-increment operator. Let's try to understand what is the pre-increment operator in context of equation. Here we are going to increment the value first and then use in the equation but after completion of the equation. This is very important point. We are going to use the value in the equation but after completion of the equation. Here first we are going to put the value of a in the equation. After that there is a binary operator. After that we have a plus plus which is a pre-increment operator. Therefore, we are going to increment the value of b first and then use in the equation, but after the completion of equation. As the equation is completed now, because after performing the increment, the equation finishes. Therefore, we reach the end of the equation. Now, we are going to put this value in the equation. That is 4. Now, what is 4 plus 4? This is equals to 8. Now, we can see the output of this particular program is 8 same number of operators we are using as in the case of question number one. But here in this case, we are providing proper spacing and because of this spacing, we get a different output as well. This is all about the token generation. The only concept that we need to know that how to generate tokens for such kind of statements. That is why I told you the concept of lexical analyzer because we need to understand the concept of lexical analyzer that how lexical analyzer will scan the statements like this and generate tokens. Now this will help you to understand statements like this. Now here is one homework question for you. 
What is the output of the following C program fragment? Here in this printf function, I have written one statement a plus 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 five plus operators. Okay, and after that a B operand. You have to mimic the behavior of the lexical analyzer in order to understand the statement. And what you need to do is to produce the answer. Is it A7? Is it B8? Is it C9? Or is it D? Error. You can post your answer in the comment section below.